Okay, so we had a question about our concept map for this week. So I'm gonna walk you guys through this. So always when you're doing these concept maps, a good thing to do is to start and just figure out what's gonna be at the top, what is our big thing. And it looks like here that we are relating a gas um, to all of these laws, all the Gaudreau's law, Boyle's law, Charles law, combined gas law, and uh, Guy Lussac's law, uh, Guy Lussac's law, and then molar volume. So um, gas I'm gonna put right here at the top because that is gonna be our big one. So now, the trick here is that we have to look at the right and see what how we're relating gases to. So we have at constant n behaves according to at constant p and n, at constant t and n, um, at constant, constant, constant. So the easiest way to think about it is that if we look at our things on the left, right, we'll save molar volume for the end. But if you look at the ones on the left, um, we have all of these different um, laws. So I'm going to put Avogadro's law here, right below. I'm going to put Boyle's law up here. I'm going to put Charles law up here. And I'm just putting them in random places. I'm not doing, there's no like rhyme or reason to this right now. So then I'm going to put Guy Lussac's law here like that. All right. So then we're going to put this here, gas right here in the middle. So let's think about at constant n behaves according to. So at constant n. So which one of these gas laws as shown does not have n? Boyle's law has PV, but they're also not showing temperature. But if I look at combined gas law, that has pressure, volume, and temperature, right? R is a constant. That's always constant. But N is my only unknown that can fluctuate. So that should be for this. So I'm going to put that there. Now I'm going to put that here. And I'm going to move you like that. So hopefully this, hopefully this will work here. Next up, Boyle's law has pressure and volume, meaning that it has to have constant temperature. And uh, we're going to say constant temperature and uh temperature and moles, so T and N up, so there we go. So you're gonna go here, and then you are gonna go here. So I'm gonna make sure that this is, yeah. There we go, like that. So I'm gonna have to move this like that. So yeah, this may not work all that well, so I'm gonna just try and, maybe if I do this, this might give us a little more freedom. So um, then if we look at Charles' law, Charles law is volume and temperature, which means pressure and moles. So P and N, P and N, there we go, P and N. So we're gonna put that there. So you're gonna go here, then you're gonna go there, right? I'm gonna move these down. All right, so now we have uh, Guy Lussac and Avogadro. So Avogadro is volume and moles, which means temperature and pressure are, have to be constant, right? So the only variables that are the same. So then you go here, move you down here like that. All right, so then we'll move you. And then finally, we have Guy Lussac's, which is pressure and temperature, but moles and volume, so N and V, so that's right there. So then I simply say, you go to there, you go to here. All right, and finally, we have molar volume. So molar volume is probably the trickiest one that you're gonna have trouble relating, but it says that SCP, 273 Kelvin and one atmosphere to find. And so if you think about SCP, if you saw the other video for the homework question, this is when we bring in Avogadro's law. So Avogadro's law at STP, Right, because remember, Avogadro has constant temperature and pressure. So at STP, we have standard temperature and pressure. So that's going to go here, and then that's going to be molar volume. So hopefully, this is correct. So I'm going to go to submit map. Go submit. Yep, and that's going to flip me over to that for whatever reason. And we're going to come here and look. And yeah, we did it. So you can, I'll leave this up here for a few seconds to get it paused. All right, so that should be it for your concept map. Good luck to you guys this week, and I'll see you next week.